this is Anne from the Useless Crafter. So lately I've been getting a lot of, well actually I shouldn't say lately, I've always gotten a lot of requests for Sesame Street but I've always said no because I felt like they were so hard to do. They're always just basically one color, right? Like I'm thinking Big Bird, one big yellow piece. Um, and I know there's a misconception out there. People think that when we do off the mat, the fewer colors, the easier it is. It's actually the opposite because the fewer colors that you have, then you're gonna have a lot of seams. You actually need to work really hard to make it look seamless. As opposed to if you have multiple layers, like if you can see behind me, um, there's Cinderella and then there's Snow White, I think it is. She's standing, she's 48 inches, but because she has different layers, like her hair, her face, her neck, her top, a skirt, the arms, everything is its own piece. That means everything can be up to 11 and a half inches and it would look, and it would be seamless. It would look seamless because it is seamless. Um, but when it's all one color, it makes it much more difficult. But I'm up for the challenge because everyone's been asking for it for so long. Um, okay, so here is Elmo, this image, and I like doing um, tutorials for design space images because then it allows for all of us to do the same image and run into the same problems. Because a lot of times before I was buying my images on Etsy, which I will still do um, for projects and for people buying um, for orders. So that will still occur, but I'm gonna try to do more design space images so that we can all have a learning base using the same materials and the same images. And then afterwards, if you have a special request or just when I have orders, I will do those as well. Okay, so I like this image because I don't even know his name. Oh, uh, oh he's Elmo, okay. <laughs> I didn't recognize him for a second. Um, it will be easy to connect the two black pieces here so that we can make this a deliberate seam right here. We won't have the red, it will just be his face right here. So that means this piece can be 11 inches. This piece down here can be more than that because I could connect here for the hand here and then bring it up so that we have the chest area by itself bring up it right here and connect this so the hand is one piece and the body is one piece but i do think that if we make this 11 inches i think we'll be fine here we shall see but okay so first thing you do is here's our image i like to look on the right hand side panel to see what we have right so we have one line item for all the red pieces um, and you can see his hands are on the side up here and then here's his nose here's his eyes the green board, the black outline of everything that includes you know, him and the board. And then there's a gray one that's not shown. So let me see. Oh, cool, it's an outline. So we could do that if you want an extra outline. I'm gonna say no because that outline is so big you're gonna have seams in it. Unless you wanna do something like silver, um, glitter cardstock or some other color, I would probably pick um, a darker color just to hide the seams because this piece right here is large. It's right now, I mean, we're going to resize it, but you know, just know it's like 38 inches by 27 inches. You're going to have a lot of seams in it. So um, I don't know how I feel about that. So, okay, I'm going to hide it for now though. So let's look at this. Um... So I want this to be about 11 inches. So 11 plus 11. Let's make the height. I think the height at 25 is good. Let's just see what we have. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm literally looking at this um, on the fly. So, okay, let's ungroup this for a second. And let's attach this little line right here. So let's go to our text and I'm gonna use I Love Glitter. So if you don't have this font, cause it's not a Cricut font, okay? So it's I Love Glitter. It's from Dafont, that's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. It is a legitimate site. It is free, so you can download it to use it just for this purpose. Um, it is the square bracket, so it's to the right of the letter P. And I like this cause it gives me this little curved line 
that I feel like I can't get easily anywhere else. So you wanna make this big so that it matches the width of your current piece. So I think that looks about right. So I'm gonna move this in here and I'm gonna you know, basically rotate it so it looks like it's a continuous line like that, okay? So I'm gonna take Elmo, the red portion, hit the shift key, my glyph, and I'm gonna slice. Okay, so it's gonna slice it out. What I wanna do is this piece first, I'm going to contour, oh no, I think I can get rid of this piece. This one delete, that top piece we're gonna delete. So you see how the glyph went far out? So it cut some of the red over here. So what I wanna do is on this one, I wanna go to contour and let's zoom out for a second. I don't want this piece. I think that's the only piece I don't want. Oh no, that's not the piece I don't want, hold on. Actually, I think this one we can delete completely. It's the red that I want, here we go, yeah. So the red, I don't wanna delete this piece or this piece, I want to delete just this piece. So when you click on the red, go to contour, and the only one we're getting rid of is this one. So if you hit here where the percentage is, it doesn't do it anymore. It used to go straight to 100%. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't want this piece. So I deselected it, right? I'm going to take this red piece, hit the shift key and Elmo, and I'm going to weld. I'm going to weld back those other pieces. So perfect. So look at him now. Honestly, um, he looks like his head is, a, his face should be a separate piece from his body. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks very, very natural. So let's look at this piece now. So here, well, you know what? Let's, hold on. Let's, everything, oh, everything is ungrouped. Okay, so let's click on the red. Let's hit contour and see how big his face really is. Okay, so let's hide all. It's going to leave us the face right here. And let's see. Oh, it's still too big. It's 14. Okay, so what's great is we haven't done anything. So we can make this a little bit smaller. So instead of 25 inches, let's go to 23 inches and see what we have. So at 23 inches, oh, it's still too wide. It's still 13 inches this way. Um, okay, so let's grab all of it again. Let's reduce it a little bit more. Let's go to 21 and see what we have. So at 21 inches, okay, this I can work with. So let me duplicate this for a second. And I'm gonna show you why. So right now, the width is, it's taking from this point here all the way to the most far right point and giving me the distance between the two. So what we can do is we can rotate this piece a little bit maybe a little bit more. I need to get one side. I can go up to 11.5. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit more and see if I can get it. Okay. So this actually works. So this side is only 11.1, .1, right? So we could use 12 by 12 cardstock. This side is 12 inches or just a little bit short of 12 inches, but you know, we can put it on the mat, on a 12 by 24 mat, have it go all the way to the bottom and it will cut. So this piece, even though it's gonna give us a warning, it's gonna say, oh, you need a 12 by 24 um, piece of cardstock on a 12 by 24 mat, but you don't. As long as we're under 12, we'll trick the system, okay? So this looks good. So now let's look at this piece and let's, um, oh, first this piece, let's go to contour. We want, his mouth, right? So click on that because we want that to be active. So there we go. So we have the mouth here. Okay, this piece, let's contour and bring back the rest of his body. So we're going to click show all. Show all will bring it all back for us. So um, what we can do though is we could actually get rid of the mouth. So let's go to contour. Let's get rid of the mouth. Let's get rid of those two pieces. And we'll leave the hand in for now, but let's duplicate this image. And this time let's contour and contour out the body. Actually hide all, 
We want this piece and we don't want this piece. So here are his fingers. His fingers are six by almost three inches. So on this image, all that we have left is the body, right? So let's go to this one in the red, click contour and get rid of the hand. So our body, oh my gosh, awesome. Our body is 11.3 by 9.6. We can cut this on the Cricut. We don't even need to do anything more. So really the face was where we had the problem. All right. So overall, our image is still a decent size. It's 30 inches wide. Um, so that's gonna be sizable, perfect for your cake table, right on the wall behind the cake table. Um, it's a great size for little kids. It will, you know, really shine and be, you know, out there. Um, and I'll photograph really well. So this is a really good size. And it's almost, it's at 21 inches. We're just a little bit short of, two feet so it's it's a sizable sizable little thing all right so let's look at this so our nose is good this is good i think this board we can make it more fun so first of all this board is too big so we're gonna have to slice it up so what i was thinking is maybe we can have you know the happy birthday sign like words right um so let's go into I'm gonna go into Inkscape because what you wanna do is you wanna have like, well, let's do a couple things. Let's go into images first. I wanna give it a little bit more of a border. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I want a few more layers. So let's, instead of Sesame Street, let's um, search for doily. This is gonna give us a lot of cool backgrounds that we can add. I usually like to use this one. So I'm gonna click this one again. I'm gonna insert the image. And I like this because first of all, let's make it 11, let's just make it 11 inches. So it's gonna be big, right? Um, no, I'm gonna make it bigger. See, we did something like this, then our green pieces will be broken up into four pieces that the Cricut can cut. And it's gonna look seamless because it's not gonna look like we had to slice it. It There's something else sitting on top of it, okay? So I like that. Let's ungroup this for a second. Let's get rid of some of these layers. It, it has a little bit too many layers for me. So maybe let's keep, let's get rid of this one, but let's keep this in here. Actually, that's a little bit too busy. Let's keep this one. Okay, we could do something like this. And so get rid of this. And now I'm gonna put, you know, happy birthday in here. Um, I think Sesame, so I have to admit, I've never watched a Sesame Street episode. So I'm a little bit lost right now as to the colors that we would use. But I'm gonna guess maybe some like just your kindergarten colors, okay? So let's make this green, um, maybe like a light blue. Oh, that became blue. Let's make this green, uh, or this, yeah, this green, maybe we'll do it um, white. And then this orange, we can make it like a light green, no. Orange would be pretty, okay. You know, the white is too stark, so let's make that gray. Okay, so, and I'm going to put Elmo kind of back where he is, just so that we can kind of see what's going on, okay? I know his head needs to be rotated, but give me a second. Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm putting him back so you can kind of see what we have here. Okay, um, and maybe this black background shouldn't be black, although I guess that gives you Elmo, so I'll, okay, I'll keep it black. Um, okay, so let's go into Inkscape. So, oops, that is not what I want. Give me a second. So let's, I'm gonna bring up Inkscape, so give me just one second. And we're gonna do the name. 
and I do it in Inkscape because I want the outline. I want, I want it to kind of cut into the blue and the orange a little bit. The gray right now is great, right? Um, because the gray is cut up by the blue. So let me see, Inkscape's not ready yet, but this is what we wanna do. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this blue for now, okay? And I'm gonna put it right over where it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take that blue, I'm gonna scroll down, hit the shift key and take this gray and slice. I don't want to, the reason why I took a duplicate is because, um, hold on, let me do this. I didn't want, why did it, okay, I'm good. I'm not thinking. I didn't want this blue to be impacted. This blue, I'm gonna slice with the name, okay? So right now the blue is still really big. The gray is in a couple pieces. So all I need to do is, um, this is still connected here and there, so it's okay. We're just gonna break it up, okay? So I'm gonna bring in this little square right here. Is it, oh, it is broken up. No, it's not, okay. It's so weird. Okay, so I'm gonna do this right here to break up this piece, okay? So I'm gonna grab it like this, the two items. You can't see, hold on. Now, okay, so here's our piece, right? It It's still connected, so I'm gonna purposely slice this out right here to break it up. Okay, I am so confused at this piece. I feel like it is broken up. Let's go to contour and see what we have. Okay, it is broken up into four pieces. You can tell here, here are four pieces. It's so weird that it doesn't look like it's broken up into four pieces. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete this. Um, let's duplicate this. Let's break it up into four pieces, okay? So you need four copies. Each copy is gonna be its own corner. So here's our first image. We're gonna to go to contour and hide all. It's gonna leave us this bottom right corner, okay? And it's 8.6 by 6.6. .6. The next image, we're gonna to go to contour. We're gonna hide all. It's gonna still always leave us the top piece. I don't want, I want this piece. I don't want this piece. So we're gonna slowly make our way through. So here is our and you can put it back if you want to so you can see what it looks like, but this is where it would go. I guess something like that. Okay, next piece, let's contour, hide all. We want the third piece, not the first piece. So here we have this, so it's this corner. Um, this blue, sorry, we can just get rid of all this blue as well as this piece here. Okay, now this piece we need this lower part. So let's go to contour, hide all. I want this piece, I don't want this piece. And so now here we have our four pieces. It's kind of weird that it gave us this outline. I feel like I must have picked up the wrong blue or something when I was slicing it, but it's gonna look like this. So it's kind of decorative in a way. Let's go to Inkscape. Um, you can definitely from Defont bring in Sesame Street, the, um, the font. I don't have it, um, but this is what you would do. So you would go to text and I'll leave Planet Santa because it's like a cute font. Um, make your text box and I'm gonna type in happy birthday okay then hit the arrow key and we're gonna make this bigger so we can see it better you want to lock this up so that we can make it really big so here's a cute fun little font right so we're gonna create the outline so this was selected we want to take our arrow and click in the white space so that nothing is selected then you want to click on the paint bucket and hold on let me make this bigger Okay, so our paint bucket we clicked on, pick any color, and then we're gonna go to grow or shrink. If you wanted to shrink, that would be an internal um, internal offset. It would go inside, you would put a negative number. But in this case, we want it to grow. So we wanna grow it by 20, and I'll show you what that looks like. 
you're going to take your paint bucket and click on the letters. So it's going to give you an outline. Make sure you get that little dot. Oops. I'm going to undo that for a second. There. Because I hit the... There's my... And then I want the dot. There. Here's my R. Keep... Oh, jeez. Sorry. I'm going to undo that. Okay, there. I'm having mouse issues. Okay, there. Now we're going to click on the arrow. We're going to click in the white space so that nothing is selected. Click the paint bucket again. Click a different color. And we're going to grow by 40 this time. So we're going to make an outline of the outline. So here, there. Perfect. Then get your mouse. Grab everything. Op path object to path, and then file, save as. So I'm gonna save this as happy birthday, Sesame Street. Oh my God, I can't spell. <sighs> Sesame Street video. Okay, now let's go back into design space. Here we go, we're gonna upload, upload image, browse. That's gonna take me to my desk. I'm gonna go to my desktop because that's where I put it. And I had it under Sesame Street. No, I had it Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday. Here we go. Just double click on it and save. Here it is. So we're going to click on it and insert image. Okay, so I'm going to make it really big so we can see it. Ungroup the thing. So here's our back layer. This is for the happy. Go to contour and let's close out this little hole and this little dot, wherever that dot is. So we have a solid background. Okay, so here's happy, right? Um, let's scroll down. So here's the H, hit the shift key, A, P, P, Y. Weld it. So here's our offset. And I would probably get rid of that little hole. So go to contour. Click on that. I don't want that. So I have a solid. And then my happy birthday is all connected. So I'm going to ungroup it. And then I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to weld it. You could just group it or attach it, but I just weld it. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to, they're so close together. So here's happy. Let's look at our birthday. Let's contour and contour out all those bubbles. So hide all. Then we're gonna go to, where's our blue? Okay, here's our blue. Grab all of these by hitting the shift key and selecting, then weld it. And I would also, for this piece, click contour and weld out all those little pieces. I like that look more, but that's totally personal preference, right? And then this I'm gonna weld and it's gonna sit on top. Okay, so we've got this. We need to make it smaller because we want to be able to cut it, right? So let's do 11 and a half. Um, maybe if we did, okay, so hold on. Let's grab this one. And Let's see, this one was already 11 and a half. Oh, this is, oops. Oh, I won't, okay. Um, so if we, hold on. Well, let's, okay. First, for these three items, let's go to align and center it. So it's centered and then group it. So now it moves together as one piece. I should have done that with this. So for happy, I will do the same thing. I'm gonna grab all three items, align. I wanna center it so it's perfectly centered and then I'm gonna group it. Okay, I don't know why sometimes it does that. Um, it grouped, but it changed the order. So let me see if I can move this. Ungroup it for a second. Okay, so. There, now I'm gonna grab these three. So you see how you can change the order of the layers? 
and it did it again. <laughs> I don't know why it flipped on me. I swear, design space, you kill me. Okay, for the time being, I'm just gonna leave it like this. So we can add in, happy birthday, let's see how, maybe we could do something like this. Let's see how big this is. This is 19 inches. We definitely only want 11 and a half. And that's not going to help us with the sign. So our gray is good, but our blue isn't. How big is our orange layer? Our orange layer is also too big. Um, you can do little balloons. So let's bring in some balloons. Let's go to images. So you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm bringing in images so that it can break up those pieces. So like, let's say, um, this balloon is cute. And you can change the colors, right? So let's look at these balloons. Yeah, these balloons are cut, so we can definitely change it. Um, you would just go and click on each balloon here and you get a different color. This one, blue, I mean, obviously any color that you want, but that's how you would change it. So, right, this would break up this right away, right? And then this, let's see if we can group these two together and what it will do to what it looks like. All right, so it still looks funky, but anyway, you kind of get it. We can put happy birthday like this with the balloons there, right? So that means this will be sliced out. So we're good with that. And then if we had something here, like a number three or whatever, let's say we had a, let's go to images, see if they have anything for three. Um, so this is cool because it has an outline. So let's insert that one. We don't want the fire, I get it. We don't have to have the fire. So all we have to do is, here's our image, right? But I like it because it has an outline for us. Oh, it has this little thing. Okay, so that's okay. So let's look at this, just click delete. I, I feel like it's fire and not like just the fun little flame. <laughs> Um, let's bring in a square. We're going to slice it off right here. Okay. So I know I'm teaching you guys all over the place today. We're designing quite a bit. Um, it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to do it from this way. Maybe right there. Okay. So I'm going to grab this outline of the three, my square and slice. Okay, so the red, I also don't need that flame, so hold on. So let's look at this red. I'm going to use the flame itself. And it's okay because the gray is going to cover this, so watch. Let's grab those two and slice. And then here's my three. I'm gonna go to contour and just hide everything. I'm gonna hide everything, it's gonna leave me just the three. So here's my three, it's gonna go in here. And I'm gonna move the three to the back, arrange center to the back. I might need to clean that up a little bit more, but anyway, it's so minor that you can actually even, oops, hold on, why did that do that? Let's group this, okay. And we can make it smaller, but this three can go something like this. Then it will break up this blue here and this blue here. So you're gonna have it in three pieces. So it's sort of like, it's kind of busy, huh? So I wonder if I wanna make it, you can change the colors. I think the colors is what's making me a little crazy. But this orange also, there's so many things that you can do. Let's look at this orange for a second. Let's go to contour. 
let's hide these little thingies, okay? So it's all these things. Let's simplify this doily a little bit. Uh, did that make it worse? Okay. <laughs> but once you start synchronizing the colors of your theme, it's going to look good. So sort of like what we did with the background, this is how I would do this. So for just one second for it to be easier, just duplicate your whole image, okay? And we'll just move it down here. We'll use this down here to slice. So we want to basically slice the balloon, the happy birthday, and the number three from both the orange and the, and the blue. What, you, what I would do is I would then go to this three, hit the shift key, the balloons, and the happy birthday. Did I grab the happy birthday? Yeah. And I'm going to weld it. I'm going to make it one image because I'm not, my individual pieces are up here. This is going to help me slice out my orange. So I'm going to take this and grab this orange and slice. So look what happens to my orange. My orange is now going to be in pieces. So I want this piece, this, all these pieces will now be under 11 and a half inches. So that's going to help me um, make it look good. <laughs> all of these we can delete, right? Because what we're doing right here is just to work on the blue and the orange. So I'm sorry, I should have done that first. Oops, hold on, let me put that back. Let's get rid of, oh, I don't want to do that. Let's get rid of them here. I'm going to delete all these extra pieces that we don't need. Okay, so here's our orange broken up, right? Here's our red. I'm going to grab this. And is it this one? No, I don't want that. The red, I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to weld it back together. I don't know if that's going to work actually. Oh, it did work. Okay. So let's see what happened to my file. My file. Okay, there. So now I have the red. Um, we can get rid of all this orange down here. We don't need that. But you can put this back to where it was. I don't remember exactly where it was. So let's see. This is there. Like that, okay. So now we can grab the red, hit the shift key and the blue and slice. So here's our blue in different pieces, right? So we don't need this, we don't need this. We have our orange broken up in pieces and we have our blue broken up in pieces. So we need to separate this. So this is going to be, let's break it up into three pieces. So I'm gonna duplicate it two times. So I have three images total. We're gonna to go to contour. So for contour, let's get rid of this, this. Let's keep this lower corner, okay? Let's get rid of that small little piece. Let's see how big this is. Uh, we gotta get rid of these little pieces. Okay. All right, our piece is 13.8 by 7.2, but we can rotate this, hopefully. And no, is it really not gonna work? It's still a little bit too big. Wow. This piece is still a little bit too big to cut. I would, so now that we know that, I would move maybe this three over here because this is broken up by the balloons. These pieces will be small enough. So you can kind of see what we're doing. We're trying to put other images on here so that we can break up the pieces on purpose so that it's into pieces like this that we can cut on the Cricut, right? So you want to separate that out. All right, so I'm gonna leave you to the design piece and the colors and the name. Oh, you can even add a name. That will definitely help break this up. So what we have left though, so I'm gonna delete all of this. What we have left is our black background that needs to be sliced up, this. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. All of this I'm gonna delete right now. So hopefully that was a, gave you a lot of insight on like how to add pieces and where you need to put it. Okay, so now this is our big piece. We're gonna slice this up into big chunks so that our Cricut can actually cut it. So we're gonna bring in our square and we're gonna make it, I'm gonna move my face for a second. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Give me a second here. I'm gonna put myself in this corner. All right. So let's make this square 11 by 11. Technically you can cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but um, I don't like dealing with half inches. So this image is 30 by 21. So we need two rows because 11 plus 11 is 22, so that will cover this. And then 30, we need three columns. So we need six squares to slice up this piece, okay? So put it just anywhere in the corner here. We're gonna go to our position feature and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 21.1 becomes 21, 10.2 becomes 10. And then we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna put it down here and 21.9 or 20.9 becomes 21, 21.3 becomes 21. So let me show you what that means. So this first one, it's 21 and 10. That means go over 21 units, go down 10 units, and here's the beginning of our square. So this is at uh, 10, right? It's at 10. 10 plus 11 is 21. This is at 21. So that's how it how it works. So now we're gonna grab these two squares because they're already flush with each other and we're gonna duplicate it. And we're gonna put it right next to it and round. So 32.3 becomes 32, 10.1 becomes 10. So now we have four squares completely flush. Hit the duplicate button again and put our last set down over here. And this becomes 43 and 10, okay. So we've got our six squares. We're gonna go grab this guy and arrange, send to the front, and we're gonna put him in our space. And this is just gonna slice up really big chunks. I love it. So let's move him over a little bit. Okay, ready? We're gonna slice this corner. And I mean, luckily this piece is really nice and big. We don't have any pieces that are gonna hang out by itself. So like, look at our first piece. That's one big sizable piece. Here's our next piece, really good. Let's cut this one. Oops, sorry, let me undo that. Let's slice out this. This corner, and then we should be done. So let's see what we have. We've got this piece, nice big chunk. This piece is just a nice big square. This one, almost just a square, right? Just that little cutout here and then this one. So all of this we can delete. Um, and you can delete it over here. Here's our slice results. So I'm gonna get rid of that, that. We don't need the gray. So here's our background, all right? That's all that there is to it. I hope that was helpful and I hope that gave you enough of a background in order to create your own sign. All right, comments, questions, please let me know where I could add more for next time. And then if you have a special request, please, please let me know as well. If you have a lot of details or a specific file you want me to work on, you can send it to Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, bye guys.